On the systemic front, we have a number of agents that have now been approved for the use of uh, therapy in patients with stage 3 disease. Before we had interferon, and very few people liked to use interferon. It was a highly toxic dose of drug, and it really had limited efficacy. But a few years ago, ipilimumab was approved, and we now have uh, proven overall survival data for ipilimumab, which is great, but we've moved beyond that. We now have the PD-1 inhibitors, and we also have the MEK and uh, BRAF inhibitors that we use in combination for those patients who are BRAF positive. So we've really opened up the gamut of being able to help these patients, and it's critical to understand that we need to diagnose patients with stage three disease so that we can offer these particular therapies. We know that uh, PD-1 inhibitors and the BRAF MEK inhibitors in the right population, again, the BRAF positive population for that latter group, uh, can uh, significantly increase the relapse-free survival, and we're waiting to see if that translates into an overall survival advantage as well. So really, a change in the landscape, really, with the treatment of melanoma, not only in the late stage, like we started talking about, but really now in the earlier stage, stage three.